All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So a lot of you guys were asking me to make a video about this fitness model named Helmet Strabel. Now, this guy is a guy who his pictures are going viral on the Internet, social media, YouTube, whatever, um, for possibly being the leanest and most shredded guy on the face of the earth right now. So in this article I'm reading from, um, it says he's 47, but I think this article might be a year or two old. So please allow a slight margin of error for some of the numbers that are thrown out in this article. Um, but this article is from simplyshredded.com where they interview this guy. So according to this article, at age 47, his weight was about 200 pounds. His body fat percentage was 4%. So this is what a true 4% body fat percentage looks like. A lot of people will throw out these body fat percentage numbers, myself included. I mean, we all are guilty of throwing out, you know, 5%, 10%, 8% on, you know, certain people, certain cases where they might not necessarily actually be that lean. Um, so this is a guy, this is what 4%, 5% or under really looks like. This is what it's actually going to look like. So this guy is six foot three. 200 pounds, 4% body fat at the age of 47. Now you can literally see every single fiber in this guy's muscles of his chest, of his back, of his arms, on his triceps. He has cross striations on almost every single muscle. You can see cross striations on the tricep. That's how you know you're fucking shredded. Um, so they asked this guy, how did you get started with bodybuilding? So he said at age 12, like most of us, he was a skinny weakling and he was easy prey for bullies. Um, so he kind of wanted to change that and he got into lifting weights to help protect himself from the bullies. So I think a lot of us can relate to that story. Either we were too skinny or we were too fat growing up. Um, but this guy got started pretty early at age 12. So as you can see in some of these pictures, man, he just looks insanely just the cross striations like i said the vascularity it almost looks like he doesn't have skin it's almost like i said with the uh with the video on andreas munzer when you look at this guy it's almost like you're looking at an anatomical chart one of those pictures um those diagrams where it shows each muscle group on that big you know skeleton body where it's just the muscles and no skin that's almost what this guy looks like. He's so lean, it almost looks like he doesn't have skin. And you're looking directly at the muscles and the veins with like a see-through lens. And you're looking straight through the skin. This guy looks absolutely insane. So in this article, this guy goes on to give his workout. It's a pretty standard workout, so who knows if it's actually what he follows. It seems to be pretty high rep ranges and pretty high, uh, pretty high volume exercises. It says he does a lot of supersets, a lot of uh, sets to failure. Um, it says he does a lot of resting in between sets as well. His seven most important tips for working out are also listed in this article. He, said, he says, always warm up, always observe proper posture, breathe properly, stop lifting if you feel pain, proper form, use torso stabilization, and execute full range of motion. So those are Helmut Strabel's seven tips um, for weight training. So here's the important question. What is your diet like? Um, so he says his diet follows a very detailed and strict planning. His main protein sources are egg whites, turkey, chicken, beef, and white fish. So for his carbs, he says he goes heavy on the carbs in the off season on sweet potatoes and brown rice. During his uh, off season, he cuts carbs only in the evening. So we're going to give you guys a sample full day of eating of Helmet Strabel. So for meal one, five to eight egg whites plus one yolk chicken or wait, one chicken. I don't, I'm not sure if that means an entire chicken or what. So meal one is five to eight egg whites plus one yolk. And then it just says one chicken. So then it says, large cup of coffee, three bagels with sweetener, jam, mustard, and a low-fat spread. Meal two is a meal replacement shake, plus 50 grams of protein, 80 grams of carbs. Uh, meal three, cooked basmati rice and turkey and chicken. Meal four is basmati rice and turkey, chicken, and fish. Meal five is basmati rice with turkey, chicken, and fish. And meal six is 10 to 12 egg whites with no yolk and then four slices of brown toast. So this guy seems to eat a lot of food for a guy that stays pretty shredded. Says when he cuts down for a competition, he tries to peak at 4% body fat. 
His main method of doing this is decreasing his carb intake and slightly increasing his fat consumption. So it sounds like some kind of variation of a ketogenic style of dieting. So there you guys have it, man. One of the leanest guys on the face of the earth does a variation of ketogenic style of dieting. So he does carb cycling as well. Each of his carb cycles last four days. For the first three days of carb cycling, he has between 150 to 200 grams of carbs divided over the course of six meals. Then the article goes on to show a bunch of pictures of him and his favorite quote, which is a quote from Vince Lombardi. Perfection is not attainable, but if we choose perfection, we can catch excellence. So that's the video, guys. There's not much information out there on this guy. Uh, there's just a lot of viral photos of him, so that's why I had to read from this article. But I thought you guys might enjoy hearing a little bit about this guy, um, the guy behind all these photos that we've all probably seen on, you know, whatever social media site. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.